So you've always been sort of a space junkie then? Always, always, always. Nothing Monroe Lee King is ashamed of. I'm a regular geek. <laughs> Learned everything he knows from his dad. My dad was a design engineer on atomic par particle accelerators. But Monroe says space travel has always fascinated him. Ever since I've seen Neil Armstrong land on the moon. It's one small step for man. One Say one giant leap for mankind. Man. Interest sparked at first with a Google Lunar X Prize, a $30 million competition for the team that can send a robot to the moon. But Monroe set his sight on a prize a little lower into the alphabet. The end prize, which is a really small prize for a, a really small rocket to get a very small satellite into orbit. According to its website, even the organizers of the competition admit, surely it's impossible. Very nearly, they reply. I think we found a way to do it. Really? Yeah. This machinist by day hit months of unemployment. That time gave birth to Team Prometheus. What we want to do is prove that it doesn't cost that much <laughs> to get into orbit. It's not rocket science anymore, guys. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Monroe is using existing technology to launch a rocket, much like the one you see here, into orbit and have it circle the Earth nine times, sort of like this. <laughs> but instead of launching it from the ground, He'll float it up first. What we wanted to do was we were going to launch from a balloon. This is like a balloon launch platform. Once that rocket gets 20 miles into what's called near space, the rocket will blast off. And our rocket goes to space. There's another stage at this point, and this is when we go into the orbit trajectory. Sounds pretty convincing. Convincing enough for sponsorships and support from a league wanting to make history right along with him. Oh boy, that was interesting. I went through a lot of people on the internet because you never know who's really interested and who's not. A team whose goal shoots beyond space travel. We also want to start an aerospace company so that we can get commercial satellites into orbit quicker, cheaper. On the quick and cheap, Monroe spent one sleepless night whipping up this model for us to look at of what will eventually travel into space. We had to have something to show you, though. A show that could lead to living out a dream he could very well launch into reach. My whole idea is I want to retire in near space and just enjoy the view. With one of your neighbors? Be on the ocean of space. Christina Chavez. Right on the beach. News 8 Austin.